All right, welcome to another grocery haul. So today I went to Smith's, which is a Kroger uh, affiliate store near me. So that's why I didn't go to Walmart this time. I usually go to Walmart or Costco, but this time I went to Smith's. So yes, because it's like two minutes from my house. Also, my cabinets are still not done. Don't worry about it. It will happen at some point. I need to put the doors on and paint them and all that fun stuff. We were really low on basically everything, so we needed like produce, and we needed meat, and we needed snacks, and just basically everything, diapers and things. So I'm just going to go through everything real quick and put it all away, and then we're going to do a little bit of like food prep with all the produce and some of the meat and all that, and I'll talk you, <laughs> oh gosh, I'm out of breath, and I'll talk you through it as we go along. So I got some heavy whipping cream because I like Jesus for desserts, but I also like to make it, um, like put it in soups and that kind of stuff. So it's really, really good that way. And yeah, that's, that's basically it about the heavy whipping cream. You know what to use heavy whipping cream for, it's delicious. And then I got two gallons of milk. Dan, I needed to give him some milk because we didn't have any this morning. So I, that's why it's already gotten into because I gave Dan some in his sippy cup. Just two gallons of vitamin D milk. I use it for cooking, I use it for Dan, because he's only 22 months old, so yeah, so we use it for that. My husband likes to drink whole milk. I put it on my cereal if I want cereal. <laughs> Not that often, but I do put it on my cereal, so that's all the milk I buy. And then Cozy Shack tapioca pudding is so freaking delicious. So I buy these every once in a while just as a fun little snack for me, Dan, or Devin. We all really love it. It's so delicious, tastes amazing. And then I got some sharp cheddar cheese. I don't usually buy sharp cheddar cheese or sharp cheese in general because I, we, we are like a mild or medium family. We don't really like sharp. But I got this because I wanted to put it on um, like some mac and cheese, homemade mac and cheese. So you need sharp cheese or else it just has no flavor. So get sharp cheese if you don't have any. You know, if you're making mac and cheese, obviously. Anyway, I got a pineapple. I'm really excited. I love pineapples. Oh, I think they're so good. Hopefully this one's good because the last one we had was not that good. But, you know, it's okay. And then I got some green grapes. They looked really good. They seem really firm and tasty, so hopefully they're good. The last batch of green grapes I got wasn't very good either, but those were from Walmart, so who knows, maybe this will be different. I got a bundle of carrots. This is, these are organic, so I've heard that if you use organic carrots, you don't really need to peel them. So I'm gonna try that and see how it works. But I still kind of feel like there's like a like an outer layer that you might need to peel off. So we'll see. And then I got some celery for soups. So these are for soups. Um, I have some onion that I've already cut up in my fridge. So because I like to do like a big batch of cutting onions and then stick them in the fridge for like the week. So I don't have to cut onions all the time because I don't like it. So I just cut a bunch and, and use them. Um, and then I got a couple cucumbers because Dan loves to snack on cucumbers and so do I. Devin not so much but I love them so delicious I just slice them up maybe peel a little of the outer layer off it's good I'll show you I'll show you what I do with those
then these blackberries were on a really good sale. I think they were, they were like a dollar twenty-five each. My dogs, my dogs are just over behind the fence. They're kind of whiny. Are you guys whining? What's going on? That's Minion, and that's Roxy, and they're both whiners. Yep, big whiners. Huh. He's the grumpy old man, and she's the puppy. <laughs> it's kind of hilarious. <laughs> Anyway, back to the food. So I got these and they're a good deal. And I was like, Dan, I think likes blackberries. So I don't know. He hasn't really had a ton of them, but he had some the other day at a family thing and he was really liking them. So I got those. They were also on sale. So that's also why I bought them. Um, and then I got some mangoes, just two mangoes. They were also on a good deal. I think they were also like a dollar each, something like that. And then I got a lemon because you can never have too much citrus in your life. And I'm thinking I'm going to put it on some chicken or something. I don't know. I haven't decided. <laughs> I just was like, might need a lemon for something. And then all of these plethora of kiwi, <laughs> I got them and they were on a good sale as well. But I probably will just cut them all up so that they're ready to go and ready to eat. Um, one of them's like really ready to eat so I might even I think this one is it so I might even eat that one for a snack today um and then I got I like the gold potatoes so like golden Idaho potatoes or just like the golden potatoes in general are so much better you don't have to peel them <laughs> you can just like basically clean them off fairly decently and then cut them up and use them I mean you can do that with russet potatoes but you have to clean them so much more so I just, I get the gold potatoes because they, I like the flavor of them more too. So, you know, that's the one I get. They're a little bit more expensive, but worth it. Um, I got some bananas, just five bananas. Dan eats them almost every day. So those are good. I sometimes try and eat them, but I forget <laughs> a lot of the time. So there's that. Back here, I got some Iams. So we have two dogs, obviously you saw them, but I read somewhere I don't know who knows how correct this is but if you get like a few different types of food that are like one's lamb and one's um chicken and one's you know the different types of like meats and stuff and also the grains and whatever else they put in them if you get a few different kinds your dogs won't have as many like issues with their stomachs and my dog Roxy the puppy she gets into everything and she'll have like lots of issues with her tummy and she'll get issues and so I'm like trying this one and this one so we're gonna put it all in a big bin and mix it all together with I have two other foods that we can put in it too we have one that's like a puppy food that we just need to use up and then one that's like their food that they're normally using. I get it from Costco. So that one's good, but like, I just kind of wanted to see what would happen if we mixed it all up. Anyway, we'll get to the other one in a second. Um, and then I got two of these. There's just the Pampers baby dry diapers. This is a size six. Um, Dan is currently in a size five, but I wanted to see, um, how a size six would fit him just because I want to, I don't know. I think size five might be still the right size for him. Um, but size six, I'm, I just, I was just like, I don't know what size he is. And I got both of them. I probably only needed to get a size five, but oh, well, it's fine. <laughs> I was just like, he might grow out of the size five sooner. So I didn't want to get a big box of five. I don't really know. He's only like 25 pounds. Probably shouldn't worry about it too much. Uh, <laughs> cause that goes up to 20 seven pounds or something okay and then we got some toilet paper you know just toilet paper great stuff i needed some shampoo and conditioner and i really like the tresemme and it was actually cheaper than if you would buy it at walmart so i thought that was pretty cool also along with cheaper than walmart they had these on sale for three for six dollars so two dollars each i mean that's not like an amazing deal but that's like saving like 20 percent. it's pretty good <laughs> And then some light brown sugar, obviously to make more cookies in my life. We got some flour tortillas because we like to make quesadillas and geladas and burritos and all those fun things in these. And you can't have enough. Some 
Sometimes when I'm thinking about us Before we got lost and we parted Back to back we would carry on and We'd do anything for what we started But this time we could break some tuna casserole I might make it tonight but I also might make it tomorrow night maybe I'll make it tonight just because it's an easy meal that I can just toss in the oven but yeah I've got some tuna in my pantry and I got some cream of mushroom soup and then I got some elbow macaroni to make the macaroni and cheese so yum all right I already showed you the cream of mushroom soup I got a can of olives. I can't believe how expensive one can of olives is. It's like $1.70 for one can of olives. And this is like the off brand. So like the name brands were like $2.50. It was crazy. <laughs> I don't understand it. It's okay. It's fine. And then uh, the bread and butter uh, pickle chips. We got those. I My mother-in-law gets these all the time and I really like them and I didn't think I liked like sweet pickles but I like them anyway, I really like them and so I got some I've actually I broke into them and I was snacking on them already so you know all right um and then this is the Rachel Ray dog food that I got it's just a smaller thing of dog food that I'm gonna mix in with all of the other stuff and I'm excited to see what the dogs do with all this food <laughs> hopefully they like it you know you yeah, know hopefully we'll see um, and then I got some multi-grain Cheerios which um, I got home and that's what I had for lunch along with some pickles <laughs> and was there anything else that I snacked on I can't remember that's all I remember. Anyway, I snacked on those two things. You know, had a bowl of cereal for lunch. It's always, always super healthy. And then I got some chicken broth because I'm going to be making some, I think, chicken and dumpling soup is what I think I'm going to be making. Sounds delicious. Can't wait. Hunt's pasta sauce, just their original stuff. So I get this kind and I mix it with some meat and then I add a lot of different flavorings. Like I'll add a little sugar. I'll add a little bit of... Um, like Italian seasoning, garlic, all the extra stuff. Give it that little accentuation of the flavor, but the sauce is really, really inexpensive. So I like to use this and not have to buy the expensive sauce. And then I just elevate the sauce because it's a lot cheaper and a lot, I think it tastes better too, honestly. The stuff that you buy in a can never tastes that good. You have to add extra stuff or else it's just not even good. I even like to add like a can of like diced tomatoes or something. Um, I didn't buy that this time, but I do like to do that when I have tomatoes <laughs> or if I like freeze my own tomatoes, that's pretty good too. I bet you think that I should calm down and that I'm overthinking everything about you and that we're good the way we are. Should work it out. 
before I'm too invested I should probably ask ya Ask you all my questions Get to know you better Why can you be trusted? Will you take me for granted? And will you let me down? I know I feel it's something for ya this huge thing of pistachios which is not that big it's one pound eight ounces <sighs> can I tell you this costs an arm and a leg with the shells on like what the heck <laughs> I don't know it's crazy but I was like it's Christmas we need pistachios so I'm probably just gonna like I might save these for stockings or I might um, just stick, stick it in a bowl on the table and let people snack on it, mainly me and Devin. <laughs> Maybe give some to Dan too, we'll see. And then we were running out of mayo, so I got some mayo. This is my favorite. I think the best foods and Hellman's brand are the same thing, so if you know what Hel Hellman's is, that's the same thing, I guess. Um, and then iodized salt. I ran out of iodized salt, and I've been using my kosher coarse kosher salt for everything. Does not work for baking as much. <laughs> I can tell you that much like I tried to like dissolve the salt in water just so it wasn't so big pieces and chunks you know so this works a lot better for that <laughs> would say that very much uh, angel hair pasta with herbs this pasta roni is so good guys I don't know why I just read the whole thing but it's so good and on nights when I just don't want to cook I pull these out and some chicken nuggets <laughs> And then that's our dinner, and it's great. <laughs> really healthy. <laughs> Some, sometimes I'll pull out a thing of vegetables too. Well, it just depends on the day. Um, this, Dan threw this on the ground at the store like 16 times. Because <laughs> it was the one thing in the cart that he could reach that he could like pick up. And he just kept tossing it out. So that was fun. Yeah. <laughs> so... He got, we got some honey graham crackers, mostly for Dan, so he can snack on those. Yeah, they're good. I like graham crackers, they're a great snack. And the next one, I got some white popcorn for popping corn, uh, for like regular popcorn, because we like to make our own popcorn in our popcorn maker, and just, you know, it's so much better if you make it yourself. Melt a little butter, throw it on top, but I can't make this on my own. I don't know how to make 
kettle corn very well. So for me and Dan to snack on, Devin doesn't like kettle corn. So it's when he's gone and then when he's home, we'll make this. <laughs> so uh, yeah, and then I got some of these Simply Cheetos Puffs White Cheddar. So good, best Cheetos on the planet. They don't make your hands, like, they don't coat your hands in grease and dust, you know? So it's so much better, unless they've been, like, if it's been opened. <laughs> if it's been opened and sitting for a while, they, they will do that a little bit, but it's still not nearly as much. And, yeah, but they're delicious. I got two bags of that, because Dan really likes those. All right, on to the most disgusting part of the whole haul is the meat. So I got this thing of meat for... 1386. This is about five pounds. Darn it, I thought this was five pounds. I, I was like, oh, 4.99 pounds. No, but it's three and a half pounds. So that's not as good of a deal as I was hoping. Darn it. <laughs> anyway, so it was 3.97 a pound, which isn't terrible, but not great either. So yeah, so I have three and a half pounds of meat right there for to use in recipes. And then I also grabbed this Heritage Farm um, drumsticks, just chicken drumsticks, and it was four sixty seven for all of this, which is not bad. Like they're like the drumsticks that have really enough meat on them, not <laughs> like the teeny little ones that you buy in a big bag and that have nothing on them. So this is good. Here is my grocery haul. All right, I just wanted to get like one shot with everything. And then now we're going to put it away. So let's go. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights. Won't stop for traffic lights. Searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Cut up all the veggies and the fruits I was gonna do. So I've got my grapes and my kiwi and the blackberries and mangoes, my cucumbers and the carrots and celery. So we'll use these as snacks, but also use them for like soups and things. So delicious. And then I did seven containers of meat. So in here, this is seven. Each one has about half a pound of meat in it, so that'll be good for different dinners. Like some dinners I'll probably pull out one, and some dinners I'll pull out two. Like if you have sloppy joes, you kind of have to have extra meat. Um, and then I did three things of these, these, uh, whatever they are, the chicken legs, <laughs> there we go. And some of them, two of them have four and then one has five. So but that's just how I had to do it. I hate when it doesn't come out evenly because my mind just doesn't like it. I'm kind of a little OCD in that department, but it looks good. And yeah, so I'm excited about this and I'm happy to have food in my fridge. So yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one. I love you so much. Bye.